So um, I think, you know, you know, as someone who's advocated for a long time um, for digital inclusion and getting people online, I think we're in a particularly difficult moment where um, a lot of the, um, the harms, you know, I recognize um, the difficulty of, you know, suggesting that, uh, you know, perhaps we should police the borders of our communities a little bit more in order to um, ensure that people are safe from uh, digital harms. Um, it sounds really different from something I would have said a couple of years ago. Um, but I want to say that I think that we're at a point, especially with vulnerable communities, um, where we really need to do some triage and where things like policy solutions are going to take a very long time to get to um, the level of local communities. Um, and where people need to be able to exercise some kind of control over the digital environments that they're entering. I also want to say that these are not walled gardens, although I know it, it, people have asked me that. Um, these do have gateways, and so it's more about how and when people get on the global internet rather than saying, you know, they can't get on the global internet at all. It's about communities making a choice about how that happens. 